Hi, another episode of blah, Good Furby Morning. Yada, yada, yada. Oh boy, I can't wait to start talking today. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh boy. Do you? Oh boy. I love these bikes. So, hi, AK. Mm. Uh, mm. I'm AK. Mmm, EJ Otta. What? Uh -huh. oh. Oh. oh boy. Look. Look. Oh. Hi, AK. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. I'll make cocoa. You know what? That toy is the Okay, best. so today we're going to look at the Play School Magic Screen Learning Desk. This thing is great. It does a lot of different things. You can use it when the kids are, are like one or even younger. They're like six months and they're crawling and they can hit some buttons and they get some reaction from it. And you can use it. Four-year-olds will be still using it because it still has a lot of good information on it. So when you open up the screen... It's got a little display there that does all sorts of things. And the first part of it, okay, so it gives you some instruction, but there's an ABC, one, two, three, and then different shapes. So if I hit square, all right, so it's going to do that. Okay, and then... Ruby's dancing. It goes through some numbers, and if you don't keep pressing on it, it shows you what one it is. But if you do two, and it shows you two dots, and they run around. So it's a nice big display, and then it plays some music as your reward afterwards. They really like that. Um, then you can do the same thing with the ABC. It goes through. Does the same thing. Now I'm going to put this over. You just slide this piece over, and it becomes a music studio. So it plays music. So a whole bunch of different songs it plays. Or it has three keys here. And I'm going to do copycat. So this is definitely harder for the older kids. Game over. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. So I hit copycat. Copycat. Copy me. And so I'm supposed to copy it. So when you get it right, it gives you a little bit more to say, hey, good job. Yes. Also, there's a mouse yes. here, which is, there's um, a it actually there, works Kirby. for certain components as well. Um, then the other part of it <laughs> is you can put, <coughs> and so this is the Animal Academy, this and it has, Animal Academy. it has a game in the middle, but it also has, So when you press on the different buttons, it tells you what you're pressing on. <laughs> yes, it tells it what you're pressing And then there's, there's uh, two people on here. And, and when you ch touch the taller person, it says big. Smaller one is little. 
So it really has a lot to do on it. Um, the kids just like doing that, actually. So there's the alphabet. I ended up hitting the alphabet. But it's really a great toy. It depends on um, how old your child is, what they get out of it. But like I said, my kids used it when they were very, very young. And they still use it now, and they really like it a lot. It's um, a great toy to have. The Play School Magic Screen Learning Desk. Hope you enjoy. Yes, we hope you enjoyed this magic screen learning mm, desk, too. I make cocoa. I had these toys when I was little, but, but, <coughs> you know what? I like a magic screen learning desk for Easter. The magic screen learning desk is going to come with the the kitty minis. Do you? Yes. So now I'm gonna change it into the default mode. Mmm. Mm, I'll make peach. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. Default mode. Oh, there we go. He's in default mode now. Now I'm going to change the rest to default mode. Default mode for blue Furby. <laughs> Default mode for blue Furby. Now it's time for yellow Furby to change to default mode. He's in default mode. There we go, default mode for yellow Furby. Now for red Furby.
Default mode for purple Furby. Hey, so sorry, there won't be another episode of Good Furby Morning for two whole days, and this is the reason why I changed them to the default mode. I'll see you on Monday for another episode of Good Furby Morning. Bye.